What's up guys, Jaybird here, and I wanted to make this quick video to break down why it's important to do keyword research whenever you write any articles, or whenever you write any blog posts, or whenever you write anything. You always want to keep keyword research in the mind. And, um, I mean, if you have money, I recommend getting some tools. Um, one tool I use personally is Market Samurai. It's a very cool tool that allows me to really dig deep with my keyword research and find out, find out exactly what I'm looking for. So I recommend using, uh, um, if you have cash, I recommend using Market Samurai because it's very powerful. And there's, all, there's also another one too, another name. Uh, let's see, I'm trying to think about it. There's Market Samurai and there's another tool. I forgot, but if uh, but I recommend using Market Samurai. I forgot what the other tool was. But uh, you can also use a free tool, like the Google free tool. If you go to Google and search uh, uh, Google free keyword research tool, you'll find it, and um, it's one of the most popular tools on the Google market. Actually, it's one of the pop most it's one of the most popular tools ever for um, free keyword research. So um, I highly recommend that because it's free, and don't overlook that because they give you a lot of good uh, demographics and a lot of good uh, keywords that you could use in your articles or your blog posts or whatever you want to use it for. So don't overlook the free uh, Google keyword tool. It's free, it's awesome, and I recommend it. But um, one thing I want to give you a good tip whenever you're looking for keywords, you want to make sure, or excuse me, whenever you're writing blog posts or, or articles, you want to make sure that the keywords that you're targeting, and this is a very powerful tip, you want to make sure that the keywords that you're targeting have low competition but a high commerciality. Now what does that mean? Um, a, low a low competition meaning, uh, uh, my hands getting tired. <laughs> a low competition meaning that there's not a lot of traffic. Actually, there is a lot of traffic, but there's not a lot of competition competing for that traffic. That's what the low competition means. So you want to find keywords, several keywords that have a very low competition and a high commerciality. Now, what does a high commer commerciality mean? Well, with uh, Market Samurai, um, which is why I love it, uh, there's um, a way that you could actually find out what every keyword is worth what the SEO value of that keyword is worth meaning so let's just say uh, for example the keyword is skateboarding I can find out on Market Samurai how much money is going through the keyword skateboarding on a daily basis so that will give me um, a good understanding of how and what I should uh, base my blog post on so I recommend um, picking up Market Samurai it's a really good tool um, uh, you can get it online anywhere I mean I don't have any like affiliate link for it or something I'm just uh, recommending it because I use it personally and I know the value of it I know how powerful that tool is it's amazing and I know you could use it if you're an online marketer if you're, if you're not an online marketer then I, this video is not for you but um, this video is for people that want to actually tweak out their keywords and make more results with them so the tip for the day is today guys with this video, the tip for today is whenever you're looking for keywords, make sure they have a low competition and a high commerciality. If you mix those two together, you will win definitely. You will find a good niche to, to base your blog posts or your articles on and to write about. So that way you can find some people and they can find you. <laughs> you know, because um, the way I see it, as long as you find keywords that have low competition and a high commerciality, you cannot fail. Because think about it this way. Imagine. Um, uh, I know it's a long video, but imagine uh, you find some keywords, right? <clears throat> you find some keywords, and they're bitching keywords. You're like, oh, these are awesome. You know, they have a good commerciality on them. They have a lot of money going through it. It's a pretty good keyword, a lot of traffic or whatever. But there's a high competition. And think about it this way: if put it this way, if you're in a ring, right? You're in a you're in a boxing ring. You're about to go box, right? I know I move a lot, <laughs> but you're about to go box, right? And you're like you're like myself, a petite dude, whatever. You're like myself, right? And I don't want to say petite; that sounds wrong. But you know, I got a little muscle on me because I skateboard. But whatever. Anyways, you're like myself, right? And I'm, I'm jumping the ring, and the guy on the other end is uh, a seven foot, three hundred pound uh, boxer with like ten years of training, right? And you go, I get in the ring. I look at him. I'm like, come on, sucker! I look at him, and he looks at me like, oh, this is nothing. I walk up to him, and what does he do? He freaking left hooks me or right hooks me in the face and I fall out. Why? Because I targeted, you know, I jumped into the ring with, <laughs> without having any experience and having a low competition. I jump in the, I'm sorry, I jump in the ring and I find out that there's a high competition on the other end that's been there for 10 years. He's been there for 10 years. Meaning 
there's other websites that, on that keyword that have been there for more than five or ten years that have built up so much quality, so much link juice, so much backlinking for that specific keyword, and then you want to go and try and rank for it. Come on, man! It's not you're not gonna you're not gonna have any good results. It's gonna be a waste of time and a waste of money. So that's why I recommend if you're gonna jump into the ring, which is Google or SEO. You want to make sure the other end on, of the side of the ring, the other guy at the very end, which is over there, <laughs> you want to make sure that that guy has no experience, that he has no experience, that he, has, he doesn't know anything what he's doing. If you can find keywords with other people that have low competition, that have no idea what they're doing online, but yet they're ranking for that keyword, if you can find keywords like that and rank for it yourself, and you put your little SEO tactics to it, I guarantee you will outrank the other guy. I guarantee you'll right hook the other guy on the other side of the ring. I guarantee that you'll take him out or take her out. Why? Because you choose a keyword that has a low competition and a high commerciality. Pick up Market Samurai and they'll break it down to you in there as well because that's what I use. But that's the tip of the day guys. Make sure you find keywords that have a low competition but yet a high commerciality. And target them. Write blog posts. Write two or three about it so that way you can dominate that niche. That's what I do. But uh, that's pretty much tip of the tip of the day for um, that topic. So I recommend um, if you like this video, just uh, share your thoughts below, leave a comment, shoot me a comment, or shoot me a message, whatever you feel like it. Um, I'm gonna make a lot of these videos because I know a lot about marketing. I've been doing it for about three years, and right now I'm building my team, <clears throat> and our goal is to hit 15,000 um, a month, monthly in residual income, monthly in residual income, $15,000, my friend. And it's possible. Why? Because I believe, and I know, and I take action. So if you take action, you want to join my team. Why? Because we're making money, and we're going to make it happen. Alrighty, guys, this is Jay Britt 101. I'm going uh, to head out right now, because right now it's raining. <laughs> but uh, <clears throat> I want to make this video. I want to make uh, four more on some different topics. But uh, make sure you follow my videos. Um, I'm going to give a lot of knowledge, guys. A lot of knowledge. Just everything that I have that I know what I can do that could possibly help you out in your career and your online marketing career um, I'm gonna give you that information for free just because uh, I wanna see how much information I know and from what I've trained um, as long as I uh, as long as I give away the knowledge that I know for free it allows me to make room for more knowledge if that makes any sense but uh, alright guys I'm gonna shake because there's like some crazy dog out there that, <laughs> that looks like it's like trying to like you know come over here or whatever but uh, I'm out guys talk to you soon peace